Yo, you too. Put some energy in that shit for y'all, man. I'm way too hyped for, for something so sad, actually. Actually, hold up. Let me do that again. Yo, YouTube. Today, we got a sad story, man. And I just want to see the development of it, dog. If you guys haven't heard, there was some little, like, you know, a uh, science vessel that was sent out with a bunch of, like, civilian and motherfucking scientists aboard. And I guess they were going to go and tour the the Titanic, which I I didn't even know that motherfuckers, like, was to doing that. I didn't know that that was possible to do. But apparently, hold on, hold on. I, I feel like I got to. I'm still in disbelief. So let me let me try to restart that again. All right. <clears throat> Y'all know the story. People went down into water to see Titanic. We ain't seen them motherfuckers yet. They was in some type of submarine type of vessel or something. Yeah. Let's see what, what's going on with this, man. The tourist sub to the Titanic is still missing was just hours before the five people inside technically run out of oxygen. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us in studio with the latest on the search. Hold up. This nigga said they only got five hours left? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Run that back, run that back, run that back. Titanic is still missing was just hours before the five people inside technically run out of op. Just hours. Not just five hours. There's five people in that shit. Okay. Oxygen. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us in studio with the latest on the search and rescue mission deep in the Atlantic Ocean. Good morning, Robert. So, Shawnee and Dan, good morning to you. This morning, there is potentially a sign of progress in the search, but with each passing hour, any hope of finding the five people on board alive dims. Damn. Early this morning, the U.S. Coast Guard said that a Canadian aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area, which is in the North Atlantic and about the size of the state of Connecticut. The news provided a shred of hope in an increasingly dire situation. It followed a report from Rolling Stone pointing to Homeland Security emails that rescue teams heard banging sounds every 30 minutes. Time is of the essence because oxygen could run out by tomorrow morning if the vessel is still intact and operating the carbon fiber submersible damn this is like one of those commercials for like medicine where like the motherfuckers at the end they just say a hella bad shit all at once so that you don't really notice this motherfucker here like not only are they running out of you know oxygen but they could already be dead the whole ship like they're making it seem like the ship could have been compromised underwater and it could just be wreckage at this point damn Cold-blooded. Called the Titan, operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions, is believed to be in waters that are nearly 13,000 feet deep or more than two miles below the surface. Why would you even go there? You see, you see some shit that I don't understand. When they do these news reports, it makes sense for them to say it like... It's so deep, man. It's like, it's like so deep. But y'all wasn't telling these motherfuckers before, oh, this shit's below sea level. It's so deep. Don't go down there. All right? But now y'all motherfuckers want to... Oh, it's 12,500 feet below sea level. It's so damn deep. It's so damn deep. Oh, my God. Why didn't you tell them that before they got in the fucking submarines? The five people on board have not been heard from since about an hour and 45 minutes after they submerged on Sunday, bound for the wreckage of the Titanic. This morning, there is word that a host of experts, including Ocean Gate's one-time director of marine operations, David Lockridge, issued dire warnings as early as 2018. Lockridge cautioned that passengers would be subjected to, quote, potential extreme danger in an experimental submersible. The company dismissed Lockridge's assessment at the time by saying that he was not an engineer and not hired or asked to perform engineering services on the Titan. The five people on board include Ocean Gate's CEO, Stockton Rush. Wait. Then how would he know? These niggas, like, we never hired him. You don't work for us. How would he know that y'all shit's gonna be fucked? Common sense is how he would know. This nigga said the same thing I said. You said niggas underwater? Some shit gonna happen. It's just common sense. These motherfuckers probably got dragged down by the Sea King or something. 
Y'all do not know what y'all do not know. British adventurer Hamish Harding, Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman from Pakistan, and the French explorer and Titanic expert Paul Henri Narjolet, who in an eerily prophetic video warned of what could go wrong on an expedition like this one. He warned what could go wrong, but he still went. Okay. This nigga must have just wanted to die. That uh, five day is with the oxygen, with the food, with the water and everything like that. But we know very well that we will die before with the temperature. Because the, pro the real problem at this depth is the temperature. After a while, you dive because of the cold, which is not a bad way to dive because you, 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 you fall in sleep and uh, it's not, uh, you don't suffer. <laughs> Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, bruh. Like I said, did I not just call it? This nigga brought them down there to die. This nigga had no intention of bringing them back. I'm telling you. Hey, I feel bad for these motherfuckers. I feel bad. But then again, it's like my mama said. People that go down into the ocean are dumbasses. Nah, she never said that. I said that shit. Y'all dumbasses. Don't go, don't go down. Like, nigga, when I'm at the beach, I stay where there be the stand still. You don't never see my ass swimming hella far out where you see waves pushing niggas out. Fuck no. So imagine me. I don't care if I'm in a submersible, nigga. I ain't going. In this case, we know that, but we never think that could happen. There are two ways for the Titan to communicate text message to a ship at the surface and safety pings emitted every 15 minutes. The fact that both of those means stopped working less than two hours into this trip is not a good sign. Did <laughs> Yo, these niggas didn't even have a chance. They didn't even have a chance. David Pogue, who is a CBS News journalist who traveled to the Titanic on board the Titan last year, says that means one of two things. Either all power was lost or a hull breach caused the sub to instantly implode. He calls both scenarios, quote, devastatingly hopeless. Tashani, back to you. Dog. Y'all do not make people feel good about, like, I mean, of course, you're not supposed to feel good about the situation, but, like, okay. It looks like this is the end of it, so let me just get my last takes. Yo, everybody pray for these people to find their ways back. I'm telling you, because do you know how scary that would be to be just, like, lost in the deep, in the dark, feeling cold and, like, Let's all pray that hopefully I'm going to pray right now because consistently I don't I don't pray. So I was like, God, please, please bring these people back. They do not deserve to go out this way. Amen. Y'all should all do that, too. Now, since we've done that, let's also be honest. Y'all niggas done fucked up. Y'all niggas done fucked up, especially the nigga that knew everything that could go wrong. He big fucked up. That nigga bit, he was like, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, we'll have air for five days and all that, but don't, psh, we ain't even tripping on that. We gonna be dead long before that shit ever kicks in. How the fuck you say that shit just so, like, calm? You're just so calm. You're just so, like, and you know you about to go on this trip. The f I'm not gonna say nothing else before I get canceled, but Lord, please, please bring these people back to they homes and they families because just because one dumbass nigga did did just decided not to to let motherfuckers know that y'all really shouldn't get on this boat don't mean that they should die for it amen and it's your boy walt please like subscribe you know we out here let me know what kind of video you want me to like react to because i kind of want to keep doing these but like, you know what I mean? Y'all, if y'all not fucking with it, shit, you're not fucking with it.